This video will show you how you can use your TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus to find the solutions to quadratic equations. A quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We can use a formula to solve for x, which is to say a value for which the equation equals zero. The quadratic formula looks like this. Notice how it's two equations in one. The plus minus symbol indicates one solution is found by adding what's under the radical and the other solution is found by subtracting what's under the radical. We can use the calculator to compute both roots at the same time by using a simple program. If you click the PRGM key, which is the program key, we get a menu where we can either execute, edit, or create a new program. I've already got the program entered in, so I'm going to execute it. I called the program quad. Now let's say we want to use our program to figure out the solutions to the equation 5x squared plus 16x minus 18. We see that the coefficients are 5, 16, and negative 18, so we enter our coefficients. 5 for a, 16 for b, and negative 18 for c. We see the discriminant is positive, so there will be two distinct solutions. So let's take a look at the graph and confirm that there are indeed two places where this quadratic equation graph touches the x-axis. I hit clear, and I'm going to hit the y equals key. Now, the variables of the coefficients which were 5, 16, and negative 18, are stored in the variables a, b, and c. So I can enter the equation like this. a x squared plus b x plus c, and hit the graph button. Now the very bottom of the parabola, which is our equation, goes off the screen, but we see that it does indeed hit the x-axis in two spots. Let's try another equation. So I'm going to hit second mode. And I'm going to hit enter again to run the program quad. Let's see what the solutions to the equation 2x minus 9x minus 221 is. So we enter a 2 negative 9, and negative 221, and hit enter. Our discriminant is positive again, and we have two distinct solutions, 13 and negative 8. Let's take a look at this graph. I'm going to hit the graph button, and there our graph crosses the x-axis at one point, uh, but, uh-oh, where's the other one? Aha, well, it's off the screen. I noticed that the other solution was 13, but our window has the x max only go to 10, so I'm going to make the value a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to graph it again. Aha, and we see that the other point of the graph hits the x-axis at 13. Let's take a look at a quadratic equation that has only one solution. How about the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9? We'll put in the coefficients 1, negative 6, and 9. Here we see the discriminant is 0, and although it listed two solutions, they are exactly the same. So what does this graph look like? We hit the graph button, and the very bottom of the parabola touches the x-axis in one spot, which is x equals 3. One more example. Suppose we have an equation that looks like this, x squared minus 6x plus 12. Well, let's run the quad program and see what it tells us. 1, negative 6, and 12. Uh-oh, looks like we got an error, non-real answer. Well, this means that at some point, the calculator took the square root of a negative number, getting a complex answer. Well, we can still work with this. So we're going to hit 
quit, and we're going to go into mode. Here, we're going to tell the calculator that instead of only working with real answers, we will work with answers that are complex, A plus BI. So we put the flashing bar over that, hit enter, and then second quit. Let's try it again. 1, negative 6, and 12. We see the discriminant is negative 12, and our solutions are complex answers. We can still graph this, so we hit the graph key. It looks like the very bottom of the parabola is above the x-axis. It never even touches the x-axis. Hence, it didn't give us any real solutions.